Marianne, for this job, what do you think are the skills that you would need to be a telehealth nurse? It's uh, important to be able to multitask. You really need to be patient because a lot of people, uh, when you first talk to them, they're in a panic. Be ready at all times, be ready for anything because you just don't know what kind of calls are coming in. Mm -hmm. So you can get any, everything. If you can think of it, we've probably had it as a call. True. And if we haven't had it, we probably will. We will, we will get it. Yeah. So we get calls about absolutely everything. So yeah. you just got to be ready. You have to kind of um, get your mind going as to where you want to go with this and, uh, you know, evaluate. Um, or triage, you know, with the, the best uh, of your capabilities. So how do you, do you find uh, or compare working as a telecare health nurse as compared to the hospital? Well, obviously, uh, you're not moving as much. Physical, when it comes to IU, to work emerge, you never stop. And you're always trying to think two or three steps ahead. Working at home, it's more, you know, you can set your pace, but you're always available. You're always waiting for the call to come in. Any kind of call can come in from the middle of the day. We can have cold. We can have a mental health mm -hmm. crisis. Yep. I walked on a nail, <laughs> you know, a near eight. We can have all of those symptoms, so you've got to be ready for anything yeah. and adaptable. That's what I find too, because when I worked in the OR, you were always running for instruments or always running for different pens and things like that. So it's a different type of nursing, whereas here you're sitting and you're using your nursing judgment and nursing skills and your scope of practice and so the types of questions that you're, you're going to ask. So it certainly is a different type of nursing and it's really, really important to have them describe to you how they feel and what they see because the better that they can describe that the easier it makes your job as far as trying to evaluate and what you're going to do with them in the long run. And that's what we do. We try to put the onus on the patients or the parents mm -hmm. a lot because we want to put it on them also that it's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. We're there 24-7. Yeah. We're a phone call away. You talked to a nurse an hour ago. Mm -hmm. You can call back an hour after if you need to and that's the comfort I think they have at yeah. home. This kind of work we do have a lot of you can call back or oh I've you mm -hmm. two weeks ago or mm -hmm. it was great you guys are great you know you get that a lot so I don't think you get a lot of that in the hospital setting mm -hmm. or no. so. so Ron would you recommend this job to either uh, a friend or family member I'll say yes and the first thing I'll say after is I would sugarcoat it to them because I always always had all the new recruits come to us oh it wasn't what I thought it was mm -hmm. because they've had a perception of it being all uh, easy speedy and mm -hmm. You know, work from home, or if you're an adrenaline junkie like I was when I started, and all of a sudden you're sitting in a chair, I struggled for two or three years where I'm a paramedic, I'm like, are you working at Merge? How am I going to sit down for mm -hmm. eight hours, right? Really recommending people to come here. Like, I agree with you. I think it's mm -hmm. best to kind of explain to them. Yeah what the job is and yeah. let them make the decision. Every job is not good for everybody. You, exactly. you have to kind of get your feet wet and, yeah. and go in and see what the job is all about and then decide if it's good for you or not. But I mean, you're right, like you have to give it some time. You go through some struggles just like you do with any job, mm -hmm. but then all of a sudden, you know, the light bulb comes on and then you think, oh, I'm getting it. So it's uh, it does take time. And I think sometimes what happens is people get really frustrated. As nurses, we're harder on ourselves. Yeah. And we, we aim to achieve immediately, but we need to give ourselves time to develop and time to learn the new job and, and to fit into it properly. The first thing you have to say to yourself, you don't know everything. Mm. Because every day, even last week, we, we kind of reach out to each other <laughs> still, and we're like still bouncing <laughs> off each other and we're like, okay, how do you, how would you approach this? <laughs> and, and every day there's something new. Yeah. Everything there's something new. Thank you.